Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching the Neo Limix introduction pack. We're making best speed through advanced training, which uh, uh, we're trying our best, but right now our best sucks. <laughs> we're on Curse of the Gold, advanced training five. Uh, what have we learned since the last couple times? We did uh, walking over dead bodies. That was the stacker stoner pairing. And then higher levels of wisdom. That was... Uh, that was using platformers to make zigzag bridges with fencers and miners. So, okay, so that's a little refresh of the last couple of things we've learned. And now we've got the gold here. 20 lemmings, 18 to be saved. Let's hit it. Ah, nothing doing. So, yeah, this is just purely using what we've learned today. So we've got, okay, looks uh, pretty simple. We've got some extra stuff here. Let's see what's going on. All right, we definitely want to... Uh, Let's see. Okay, they're coming out pretty quick, so we're going to want to do that. Uh, I think they're coming out fast enough that... I think they're coming out fast enough that two stackers... Uh, that if I do a stacker now, one, two of them will get past it. So, I'm going to try that. So, alright. So, let's try... Okay, yeah, that's too many. That's too many. Maybe we just want to do a... Maybe just we just want to do a... Uh, a stoner? Let's just try that. So, one lemming is going to get past that guy. Yeah, there we go. Everybody is blocked in. Very nice. So now we're going to go... We're going to go across now. Okay. We're going to go across. Alright, very good. And I think what's going to happen is we're going to do the turnaround... Okay, we're going to bash... We're going to do something through this guy. Let's see. What are we going to do? I think we're going to do a stacker right here so that everybody can get over this stoner when the time comes. But for now, what we're going to do is... There we go. Okay. And yeah, we're going to do the thing where he turns around, does a little bit of stacking, and then they have a thing they can walk up. Very nice. Okay, so he's going to hit the steel... Okay, yeah, I think I see the general thrust of how this level is going to go. Okay, so now we've got... Now we've got... Yeah, that should be... That should be safe, right? Oops, that's too far back. Okay, so that should reattach pretty well. Can I get one more? Nope, just one pixel. Just one pixel of safety there. Okay, so... Yeah, we should be able to go up through this just fine. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay. And then that's going to enable them. We're going to stack our way out of here. And then he's going to turn around and make a staircase for them. So as soon as he turns... As soon as he turns around... Yeah, we're going to start. One, two, three, four, five... There we go. That... Yeah, that's perfect. That gets everybody up. So now... There we go. And I think that's the height that we need. Yeah, all right, man. Man, pretty pretty simple little level right there. Once you uh once you have all the skills down pat. There we go. Okay, so now now we're into part 2 of the level, which is going to require platforming, bashing and walking. And I think from there it's pretty simple. I think I can already see the thrust of what we need to do. We need to we need to cut off our basher right here and then platform over to here. Basher uh-huh. Walk to cut him off. And then he goes up into the gap. Um. Let's see. I think that should... Okay, yeah. Everybody still goes up from there. So I think that's... I think that's gonna cut it. There we go. Alright, well, some people are... Okay, yeah. They just walked... A lot of them walked back for some reason. I thought some of them got stuck down there once that platformer completed. Which wouldn't have made any sense. Wouldn't have making any sense. Wow. <laughs> Round the wheel is great with the jibber jabber today. Yeah, if, if they had gotten stuck, it would have been as soon as he started platforming. So, uh, but there we go. We, uh, we have overcome the spider's curse by quoting a Bible verse. That was a pretty easy little level right there. I'm feeling it. I'm doing, I'm doing mighty fine. 18, and yeah, we got through all 18 there. We used the stoners in the prescribed manner. Very good. All right, let's move on then. We're making good headway today. Pharaoh's turnaround, advanced training number six, 20 lemmings, we must save them all. Is this going to be, 
This may be a uh, yet another applied lesson, but simply a little harder. We'll see. The jumper skill can be very powerful when combined with a cloner. You essentially make a 180 degree turn mid-jump with the freshly cloned limbing. This is especially powerful when combined with permanent skills like the climber. I bet you can manage to solve this level with that piece of information. Well, that's probably a good bet. Uh, let's see. Let's see how it works out. All right, we've got at the ends here. We've got uh, okay. We've got the basher and the walker on each end here. Um, okay, so how do we want to manage this? We want to. Oh boy, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's look at what we've got here first. We got the basher and the. Okay, we've got one. Okay, one platformer. So we're gonna want to close this up right here, probably. And we're gonna need cloners to jump out and climb and grab these things. Okay, let's try to play this by ear, real quick. All right, we're gonna go from here and clone this guy to start sealing this up. So we've got. Yeah, okay, he's going out to the left. And I'm going to go ahead and clone him as well, I think. Let's see how that works. Okay, one's going to one's gonna get out of there. Oh, wait, no. One goes to the left and then one goes to the right. So I don't need to do that clone bit. Don't need to do that cloning bit of business there. He's just going to go to the left and one's going to go to the right. There we go. Okay, that should seal up pretty nice then. So now what we're going to do, if I understood correctly... Is uh, we've got how many climbers? Two. So they're going to be permanent skills right there. Alright. So they're all trapped in there now. Very good. Alright. And then he's going to jump out to here. And then... Okay. That was a little low, I think. That was a little lower than I wanted. But I think the idea is to jump and then clone, correct? Okay, so you go... Alright, and then if can he attach to the wall at any point? Yes, he can. So, yeah. That's per <laughs> One jumps off into the abyss. Now we've got a basher and a walker. So what happens from that point? So now we do the same thing over here. Same thing likewise. No, no. Wrong thing first. Whoops. Okay, jump... And then clone at the right. It's like three frames out. So there we go. Okay. So now we've got 21 out of 20 limbings out. And we've got... We have any jumpers left? It would not appear so. So they're going to shimmy over to their respective other parts, I think. Okay. So I think they're going to walk to the other end each. Because you can't really shimmy from here. Wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, he would just do that. So, so yeah, once they get to the other end, they're going to shimmy over here. I think playing this by ear is going to be a good way to work this out. But what happens... Okay, we've got a miner here. Alright, so he's getting over here. He's going to shimmy. No, what are you doing? Come on now. No, that's not... Is that not going to cut it? What's going to happen then? Do you need to do you need to bash to clear yourself out a little spot for shimmy? Is that is that what I'm laying down here? Huh. Let's go backwards to Yeah, roughly right here. Okay, so if we go all the way to the end, all right. No, not really. That's not really gonna work only one basher so what then oh we probably just have them glide okay we have gliders okay that's probably smarter you can't shimmy from there oh they would shimmy to the other end to get back to where they were okay so all right i think we're gonna have him glide to get to the bomber which is gonna be okay we have a bomber and a miner then and two walkers Okay, so we're going to be using that little trick probably where, well, we're going to have to get them up some way, some ways. Hmm. Okay, this is a pretty interesting little, okay. 
This is a pretty interesting little how do you do. How are we gonna... Okay, so he gets that. We're gonna have to bomb into the top somehow. I don't have another cloner, so I can't really... Huh. Only one miner. What am I going to do with just one miner, though? I can't really... I don't see the skills necessary. What am I missing here? I'm kind of thinking ahead a little, I know. But give me just a second here. Okay, so... And wait, you're also going to be a glider. So, yeah. So once you get up here, you're going to go... There we go. And then he's going to do likewise... Okay, yeah, so he gets in there at a point. Alright, so he's going to need to... Alright, we've got one basher. We've got one basher and one miner. The bomber is going to be used to get into here. Unless... Yeah, yeah, there's no... There's no otherwise type of thing. Hmm. So... Okay, so we're going to be bombing in here somewhere and grabbing one of these things. But how is that going to work out? Is it going to be a thing where, like, we use a walker to cut off the minor tunnel in such a way that they could still get up it? That may be. But we're going to need both walkers. How am I going to collect both of them here? Oh, by bombing right here, so that they can glide to the individual spots? Okay. Well, you would think, but we're just going to get one or the other. Well, you would have to go to one side or the other, right? So we're only going to need two walkers then, correct? Two walkers, nothing left to clone. Hopefully I haven't made a fundamental error from, like, the very start. That would be terrible. But I think... Okay, so we're going to have to go down into here some ways. Alright, so I'm going to try mining down for just a second. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think I, I think I got it. So, yeah, you would have him... You would have him mine. And then you would have one of these guys bash... To end the tunnel in such a way that they walk up into whatever he lays down. Okay, so I think I'm going to have him walk right here. And he's going to set his walker at a point where they can kind of just... Okay. Okay, I think they should be able to walk up into it from there. Yes! Okay. Alright, there we go. Solved it. Nailed it. Okay, so yeah. One is just for... There's a walker on either side for whichever side you choose to approach the problem from okay okay i've got it i've got it i've got it very nice okay so very nice 20 lemmings done yeah that was a nice one that you can kind of play out just i know i need to do this here trust my skills trust the rest of the skills to carry me when i get to the part where i need them that was a great level i really enjoyed that one a lot we're going to do one more. I believe this is one I've been warned about in advance by Eco himself. I think he tried to tell me that was a cup uh, falling on the floor. Uh, yeah, he's warned me about, I think, levels 7 and 14 of advanced training. I think are ones that people have had. Uh, they, they've gotten kind of stuck on those. So, let's see. Checkerboard's crossing. 20 lemmings. We gotta save 20. We're gonna be going all across and around the way here. Uh, is this one that's explained, or is this one that we're just dropped into? Maybe it's the fact that we're just dropped into it that might be... That might make it hard to sort out all the pieces. Okay, yeah. We're dropped into this without any... Any help whatsoever. Four stackers. Okay, so we're gonna be doing... Okay... What are we, what are we looking at? Oh my God. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so one thing we're going to be doing for sure, we have four stackers. So the whole idea is that one of them goes out. Okay. 
All right, four stackers. But I think, okay, and a bomber. Lots of pickups here. Oh, man, there is... There is a lot going on in this tiny little space. And ob obviously, above all, what we don't want to do is fall into the catch-up. We have platformers, three of them. And I think it takes three apiece to get across here. Any kind of... No, they're pretty much going to be going across to their separate stations. Because I don't see... I see platformers, but I don't see fencers or miners or anything. So we're just going to be going across to our individual sections here. One bomber. So one of the clones is going to be bombed, I think. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, just one bomber. We have 20 lemmings and we have to save 20. So one of the clones is going to blow up. Okay. Hmm. This is... Okay, I can see why I was warned about this one. This is a little tough to suss out. There is a lot going on here. There is, a, is this a trap right here? No, that's just decoration. Okay, so we are going to... We're going to collect this first, maybe. I, w I just kind of want to see something. Okay, so if I blow this up here, that may keep everybody in safely. But I don't think that's what we want to do for now. Okay, we want to keep everybody in. We have two bashers. Okay, so what we're going to be doing... Okay, pop. I'm going to use my stackers for now in a way that might not be terribly intuitive. But I'm going to try to keep everybody just kind of held in. Um... Alright, so you're going to do the... Okay, I do know that we're going to be doing a jumper... We're going to be doing a jumper cloner kind of such. Well, no. Not really. Maybe from a different end? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have you do a stacker as well. I'm just going to do stackers for now. Just to kind of hold everybody in. See what's up. Okay, maybe actually, you know, as long as we're doing that, I think we want to do it where it's going to be flush with that. They might step over that, actually. No, they don't step over that. Good. Okay, so if I do a perfect... Yeah, I want to do it flush with the thing for now. Okay, so we've got this going. Yeah, I think we're going to need the stackers for now just to hold people in. All right, and now we've got this going. Nobody, okay, yeah, it's perfectly done so that nobody walks over anything. So I feel like that's intentional then. So what we want to do is, all right, we have a cloner now and we have a bomber. All right, so what we want, huh, so this is going to go across to here. No. We don't have the platformers yet. We got to get somebody across. Yeah, obvious. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, this is this is the part where we want to go climber and then jump out. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's a little uglier than I wanted. So, one of these may have to be off of pixel just to allow jump room. Uh, being, being flush with the thing doesn't work out so hot. Yeah, he just bonked his head. Okay, so I'm gonna start over entirely. Alright, and I'm going to get my, I'm gonna get my stackers going a little less flush with the thing. Alright, so you go there. And, okay. How many pixels off are we here? One? Okay, yeah. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to put them one off from being flush with the wall. I think that's going to help me out pretty significantly. Okay, yeah. Nobody turns around still. Very good. Yeah, and I want somebody into that bottom... Okay, yeah. So now, when he climbs over it... Alright. So now I have a pixel to jump from. There we go. Jump. Yeah, much better. And then clone to climb. There we go. 
I think... Yeah, I think he's just going to have to eat it. So now we have another stacker and a glider now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, if this is what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, well, hold on a sec. Alright, so he's going up the wall. Alright, so if he's going up the wall... Okay, I have another stacker now. But he's climbing. He's climbing. That's a problem. He's going to climb over his own thing. No, I don't think that's quite a problem just yet. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> I think I see maybe what's going on here. I'm going to go ahead. He's going to climb over his own thing. But I'm going to jump off of it to send him the other way. Okay. So now... So yeah, so now I have this, and I have a glider. So now this is going to give me the three... This is going to give me three platformers here. Now how am I going to do this? Are we going to end up getting them all into one exit, actually? Maybe so. Maybe this is just a red herring exit. Okay, so I think... Alright, so now he's gonna okay what's his trajectory if i make him a glider he's going to bounce off i think i need him to go i either need him to jump okay yeah he's too low no matter what he's just gonna bounce off that and there's no swimmers okay so let's try jumping from here that may give me more of a direct pa yeah that gives me more of a okay that gives me an in into there and what then? So we have more cloners now. Okay. But we still only have three platformers. We have three platformers total. So what's that going to mean for getting everybody... Okay, because if I... Okay. There's a problem here. Because if I... If I do platforms from here... And bash them out. Then what's going to happen is they're going to splatter from there. This is a pretty... Yeah. This is a far fall. So the problem here is... Getting them to... So let's say I bash through like here and they fall from roughly here. So I need a platform from like... At the very least, I need to platform from, like... I think what I need is to platform from the middles. No, because then they can't get up over it. Unless... Yeah, I only have three platformers total for all this. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of overthinking right now. I'm just going to go glide into the thing. So this is going to be boink. Boink. Okay, so now we have two and two. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clone you. And I think he's going to go into the exit. Unless... Okay, so we might have two jumpers here for a reason. Okay, I think I might have to... Do I need to go up this left wall at all? I don't see any extra skills anywhere. I, unless this is a hint of something right here. Is this a hint of something? This little thing. this Because this is asymmetrical against this. There's something right here. Maybe. There's a square right here. There's a little... Okay, there's some kind of... Why do I feel like there's a hint right here? Okay, I'm going to... Okay, this is... Okay, we're going into test mode real quick. Alright, you're a climber. That's not a permanent yippee. That's going to be... Okay. So, I'm going to... Clone you at the jump. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bomb right in here to see what's in here. No, there doesn't seem to be anything in there. 
So maybe it's a visual hint for what to do there. No kind of digging skill to get them down into here. No sort of basher. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to real quick. Okay, maybe if I back this up. Okay, I don't want you. Okay, now we're back to this point. Okay, yeah, <laughs> this is a this is a tough one, but I think I need to clone from here and go outwards. Okay, I think maybe I'm going up this wall. So I'm going to have him jump over the exit. I'm going to have this one just go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and have this one platform to the end. I'm going to platform across for now. Uh, but it looks like I have to handle the jump first. Okay, you're climbing up the wall and now you're... Alright, let's go across. Alright, there we go. So you're going up the wall. But what does that mean? I don't have any cloners left. And if I just drop in, I don't know, if, can I mitigate the height enough? I'm gonna trust the game real quick. I'm gonna try trusting it. I'm gonna dip, oh no, can't do that actually. So I can't get too far away from the wall here. I don't know about this, man. Actually, let's get him going inside here. Let's go ahead and bomb from in here. Okay. Oh god, I hope this works out. Okay, so there is a bit of a pro- well, maybe not. Okay, will they walk up onto the platformer? No, they're too low. They're too low for this part. Yeah, if I bash here, they just- they die. Well, maybe he doesn't have to- maybe they don't have to be the basher. Okay, this is gonna be the real problem stakes right here. They're going to splat from down here, aren't they? That's too high. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem I was foreseeing before. That's the problem right there. I got to get them low enough, I think, maybe. Maybe I should just use one of the bombers right here. Put a stacker right here. Maybe that gives me enough height at the end. One bomber... Okay, so stackers everywhere. Stacker, stacker, stacker. Except for here. No, but then... Okay, so if I bomb here and I have to bash out of here, that means I can only use one basher... here. I think I just barely don't have enough stuff. This is probably going to require a ground-up rework. Like a ground up rework, but with only like the tiniest tweak. I'm really close, but something about it is just like ineffably wrong. Nope, still not enough of a height advantage, so that's not it. Bombing up here in lieu of using a stacker and putting a stacker here isn't it. So then, yeah, it's something else entirely. I still feel like this is important. What am I missing here? All right, I had most of the right ideas. I had to look this up. And big thanks to Flopsy for having all these levels played and in videos already so that I could go look it up. Uh... But uh, I had most of the right ideas, just was not applying them in the right places. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to bomb about right here or so. 
I think that's what this is trying to hint at visually somehow, but I'm not entirely certain of it. Uh, I'm going to leave my stackers in the places where I had them uh, just because I like it aesthetically. Um, and it doesn't really matter where they go just as long as everybody is blocked in. That seems to be how it is. This over here, this is one part I had wrong. I was jumping out and clone climbing from over here. You need to do it from over here. So, yeah, the idea is, yeah. Basically, yeah, you do jump over this exit and you still glide into here. But I was unnecessarily using a stacker by doing it here. So we're going to go ahead and, yeah, get you up into there. All right. Uh-huh. Let's just go ahead and make sure everybody is closed in before I do all that. Okay, yeah, same deal here. You have room to jump out right here, and then... There you go. I clone you. There you go. So now all these guys are going to be up in here for now. Now there's one part coming up that I don't know that I would have figured this out at all, because I'm not... I don't think it was talked about ever. Uh, this is something Flopsy brings up as well. So yeah, we I I did figure out that you need to jump out here and then glide into here. Because that jump gives you the height to glide into there. That's pretty simple. Alright, so now we're going to clone you. Alright, there we go. And you come on out. So yeah, now he's going to go ahead and do his thing. Alright. Alright, he's going to platform out to here. And he does not turn around when he does his thing. So that's why we have another cloner. Alright. Or maybe he will turn around right there. Or maybe he won't. I don't know. Uh, but let's see. I think... Yeah, I think... Yeah, well, he does turn around right there. Uh, and... Yeah, the reason you have two bashers is to... Okay, so we're going to jump up to the wall here and climb. This is the weird part. Okay, so now we're going to go from here and we're going to build a stacker right here. And that is going to let them drop onto there from there. Okay, yeah, and this is basically why we have a cloner, just to save this guy. Because 19 and 19, he'll go from here all the way over to here and eventually glide off screen to his death. So what happens then is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and bash right here. That eliminates the height difference enough. And then, yeah, basically we just bash to save them. There we go. They all walk up through that and then clone our guy. And at voila, everybody is now saved or enough people are saved at any event. And we have one extra jumper. So, yeah, that's checkerboard crossing. That is a tough one. It's like the ideas are all there, but getting to the applied theory is like, and getting to the actual like specific way that you need to apply them. That's the tough part. And I think this part is a little, a little out there, a little outre in terms of what's been expected from you so far. That was pretty tough. I'm not going to say I didn't like it. <laughs> Flopsy seemed extremely displeased with it, which is, uh, which is, I can see that, but, uh, I am in kind of a, I have places to go and things to do sort of mode right now. Not least of which is that I am about to go get, uh, let's just say a certain thing in my arm to prevent me from getting a certain other thing. Hallelujah. It's about time. Uh, so that's, uh. Yeah, you never, you never know how, uh, you never know how clear you are to talk about that sort of thing on YouTube. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to go get a needle stuck in my arm to, to prevent a certain, uh, disease from getting in there or make the chances of that disease getting in there much lower. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time for, uh, hopefully, uh, not as hard level playing, making, doing. Mm -hmm.